Hold on to your pants, kids. This episode is crazy. Let's do it. Y'all, this episode, this episode was crazy. It was the episode we were waiting for. And yeah. they left you with that big cliffhanger in episode four mm-hmm. where the mine set up at Woodard's. And but they tie it you, up. You, yeah. They tie it up. Yeah. And uh, it's only like a minor part of the story now. Yeah. But they don't even jump right into it to start the episode. They, they go back to them in the 90s. Yep. And they're talking about how Lucy OD'd in 88. They still haven't found the cousin that, uh, or Uncle Dan. Um, Uncle Dan. Then they're talking and they really want to keep it quiet. And Hi, Jax. Hi, Jax. And then um, Tom Purcell walks into the office, which is something that Hayes and Wes did not want. No. Um, and uh, Hayes immediately wants to show Tom the surveillance picture of Julie. And Wes is like, no, don't do it. He's already, like, broken down enough. Yeah. Um, But Hayes does it anyway. Yeah. And then, um, like, he has this crazy emotion. I got chills. He's like, is that my baby girl? Yeah. Like, he's crying. And I was like, that's tough, man. He's he's been a good, he's been really good. I I don't know who the actor is. I forget his name. Scoot McNeary. Scoot. Scooter. Scooter. Uh, I've never heard of him. never seen him before. He's he's been good. He's got. He's killing it, yeah. Yeah gets that emotion going um so yeah he shows him west is not happy about that no and this is kind of the first time we see them disagree yeah um on like what to do yeah uh so after that hayes goes back into the office they're looking at photos of the woodard altercation and that's when they flash back Mm -hmm. and boom there's a lot of good one-liners i was waiting for this scene i was waiting for a scene like this like action-packed Something like that. Season one had a lot of these scenes, and this was a, really the first one, other than a few minor high paced scenes here and there. But uh, mm-hmm. this was awesome. A lot of action. He's got Woodard's like set for war. He's got trip mines, like multiple mines. Yeah, we mentioned um, this a little bit in the last episode. Um, but they start going off, obviously, when they uh, walk over the line. And both yeah. Hayes and Wes are there along with the other, the dads of the neighborhood trying to, you know, get in there and kill him. Yeah. And Woodard just starts open firing yeah. out the window. And in all the craziness, Roland, uh, this is where we know Roland had gotten shot. Uh, Hayes they had mentioned that. To it previously, yeah. Um, so this is where he gets shot in the leg by one of the, like, mob members, right? The angry mob that went to Woodard's. Looks like yeah. he got shot by them. So he's on the ground. And this is one, I like this one liner that, um, that Wes has, and he has a, a bunch through this episode, but he's he's on the ground, and he's just like, stay there, and Wes is like, you think I'm going anywhere? <laughs> he's just wearing ass. Mm-hmm. It's great. Um, so then Hayes walks into the house, and he sees Woodard looking out through the window mm-hmm. with his guns, and Hayes draws on him. Yeah. Woodard knows, and Woodard's like, yeah, he pretty Woodard's, much says he had him lined up. Like, yeah, he's Woodard like, said, I, I had know, you. Yeah. If you, if I, you would be dead if I wanted you to be, yeah. and he's and he's convincing Woodard or he's convincing Hayes to to shoot him. He's like, "You got enough on me. I shot at people. You can shoot me." And and Hayes is like, "You're gonna put that on me." And Hayes tries to continue to negotiate, and he says, "We can spin this in your favor. You're a war vet." And he's like, "I don't want it in my favor." So yeah. then Hayes knows. Then he knows what he has to do, and he. He shoots him, yeah. even though he doesn't want to. Woodard was like turning around, and yeah, he's like, "I'm gonna count to three in my head. You better open fire." So yeah, so pop right in the back of the head. Yeah, so Woodard's down. Other police come. Um, Hayes, Hayes like collapses in collapses the corner because because the craziness. He didn't want to shoot Woodard. No, they had something to bond over being vet uh, war vets together. Yeah. Um, I think Hayes felt that he was uh, innocent. Yeah. So, um, he didn't want to shoot him, but Woodard wanted to, you know. Yeah. He wanted to die. So now, after all that craziness, you go back to the 90s, Mm -hmm. and Tom's giving his statement. Yeah. Basically, like, begging Julie to come back home. Yeah, well, you know, when there's, like, a missing child, and they do, like, a press conference, like, if anybody has any information, or if you can, like, 
my child, if you're out there, you can hear this, come home, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, now, this was uh, Alan, the prosecutor, who mm-hmm. got Purcell to come in and make the statement, not Clint, right? Or Kent, whatever no, his name General is. Kent uh, decided to let him do that because um, then the um, Kent was adamant on making Woodard uh, Woodard the the wrongly accused. This is where we find out that it was Woodard that was put away wrongly for in jail yeah. for the ten. Well, the years. reporters asked Kent uh, if they now believe Woodard's innocent, and he said, "This doesn't change our perception yeah. that Brett Woodard murdered Will Purcell and." Took mm-hmm. Julie. And then Alan comes in with yeah. Woodard's children, who are yeah. now 10 years old. David and Josie Woodard. And yeah. he says they want their father's name cleared. Mm-hmm. And this is to, like, so Hayes kind of gets into it with Alan. Yeah, about the and whole they thing. were pretty much on the same page um, throughout yeah. the rest of the episodes, but Hayes gives it to him saying, um, This isn't about you and your vendetta with your old boss being uh, General Kin. Yeah. Um, this is about the kids. Um, and then Hayes asks, Alan, if the kids know who he is, which they do, they do, um, and he and he says, "Motherfucker made me carry his water, yeah, like, carry yeah. his weight, made him kill him, and yeah. so he, well, he's, he's not okay with it." No, who would be? Mm-mm. I mean, that's a t- that's a tough spot. He didn't want to kill him. No, but well, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Uh, so now they go uh, into you see Freddie Burns, yeah, in, in the nineties for the first mm-hmm. time, and he looks like shit, um, <laughs> and you could tell he like clearly. I, I mean, he was on a path in the first place, but he held all that, and like he never forgot about it because they come in like trying to ask him questions, get some more stuff out of him. Yeah, like re-interviewing. Yeah, him. but he's like screaming at Hayes, uh, who, as we mentioned in the last episode, like you know threatened him with the prison rape and all that shit. And yeah, I went hard on him. Um, but first, they get out that uh, Freddie was like, re- or like telling them again. Um, that Will came that night, frantic, looking for his sister. He said, I can't find my sister. I don't know where they went. Where they and, went. Yeah, yeah, and immediately Hayes picks up on the they. He's like, Who, who's they? Who's the they? Woodard? Yeah. And Freddie said, no, I saw Woodard that day, but he was going in the opposite direction of the park. Yeah, which it was. Yeah. Um, and then Freddie accosts Hayes for being too hard on him back then. Um, and Hayes tries to... He says, um, you know, I went hard because you seem like the type of person to bully people weaker than you. And Freddie comes right back at him and says, well, what's your excuse? I was 17. Yeah. So, and slowly through this episode, you see um, Hayes' anger come out more. Yeah, he's getting emotional. You see his, in his work, he's less professional in these interviews. He's getting very emotional. And Roland's like getting upset this is the first time you like you mentioned before you see them yeah and it bleeds over into the next scene we're in the car and uh wes is trying to figure out what's the next step um what they should do next and hayes can't every time he asks him a question hayes just goes off topic going back to like you know when i was freddie's age i was i was in the jungle in the war yeah his generations are a bunch of pussies yeah <laughs> and so tell us like, this time yeah Older people saying that Always. the new generation sucks. Yep. Which I've, I'm saying now, currently. So <laughs> I'm old man. I'm an old man. Um, so then they go, you're back in the 90s, uh, and they're asked, somebody comes in and says they have info on the woman in the picture that they released, which is Julie. Yeah. Um, and he gives them a little bit of information. Yeah. He says he had spent time with her. She was a little weird. On the streets, yeah. She said yeah. she didn't remember what day or year it was. Yeah. She kept saying she was a princess. Right? Yeah, and she lost Princess her brother. Of the pink room. Yeah, mm-hmm. and she lost her brother. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and but she kept, she said her name was Mary July, not yeah. Julie. Yeah, but the kid says that this is her, and so immediately Hayes is like, "This is Julie," and Roland's skeptical because you know there's yeah. some like there's some holes in the kid's story, and Rose is being that hired detective up, and you know. Yeah. Saying like, well, let's you know, let's step back for a minute, yeah. and I think he's seeing that Hayes is too deep in this. Yeah. But we don't know if uh, Hayes is acting accordingly, or you know, he's he's in too deep. Yeah. So now we're in 2015, and Eliza's interviewing him um, again for the documentary, 
and um, this is like a, a brief scene, but she hands him a paper, a photo of Officer Harris James, and she says he went missing during the 90s investigation. We don't know who this officer is. He hasn't been shown before. Yeah. Um, but she says a lot of people gone, a lot of people dead over this case. And Hayes just agrees with her. Yeah. And much. Hayes looked at the photo and like said he didn't know him or know yeah, anything about it, but it, it looked, like, looked like he did in his face. Yeah. So now we're back to the 90s, and because Hayes and West are working together again, Wes invites um, Hayes and Amelia over for dinner with his girlfriend, Lori, who he met at the church. Yeah, that was <laughs> that woman from the church. Yeah. Um, so at dinner, there's like there's tension. They're trying to have just like a normal meal, but Amelia brings up the case at dinner, and Hayes immediately gets Anytime annoyed. she... She brings it up. He has no interest in talking about it. Yeah. Won't she, let her ask any questions. Yeah. Doesn't let her bring the book. She wanted to bring the book to dinner. Yeah. But. And um, Lori says, why didn't you? And and she says, oh, well, he he didn't want me to, yeah. according to Hayes. Yeah. Um, so they just, they they bicker a little bit in front of Roland and Lori. It's awkward. And, and just an awkward dinner very scene. very awkward. Yeah. You go back to 2015 where Hayes is reading the book. And the children should laugh, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, line. yeah. Right, right, right. So he's reading through it and he reads that line. And that's what uh, Lucy said to Amelia in a scene that I like totally ignored last night. I didn't ignore it, but I didn't think it was as big as it was. Um, you know. Yeah, well, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> I, was, um, I was angry with myself there. Yeah, when she's when she goes over to uh, Lucy's house and, and Lucy's breaking down and she's like, children should laugh. And then she put that in her book that she was writing. And he didn't, Hayes didn't read it till 2015 yeah. when he's an older man. And it turns out that that was in the ransom note, said children should laugh. Sent to the Purcell yeah. house. And he's um, like, babe, I should have read this a long time ago. Yeah, like talking, talking to, his, to his, the ghost spirit of the <laughs> Yeah. Um, and he also sees a car outside. Yeah, which is the second time video. he's seen that. So yeah. somebody's, somebody's, somebody's watching. Somebody's watching. Keeping an eye on him for yeah. sure. But he um, can deduce he, from this that it was Lucy who, who wrote, wrote that note. ransom note. Yeah. So which makes sense with the tie-in with, with Uncle, Uncle Dan, Dan who we yeah. still think has a big part in all of this. Yeah. So now back to the '90s, they're coming home from dinner right. and they're getting into a big argument again. Yeah. This is where I was reading, I was watching other people's reviews and I didn't like, I didn't think about this before and it's kind of far-fetched, but um, they painted they painted Amelia as a suspect, which I didn't think before, um, but Hayes, one of the things he says to her when they're arguing is, you're a voyeur, lifting yourself up on other people's bad luck. You use people to write stories. And so... I was like, okay, that, I mean, did she do this to write a story? I don't know if that's that's too much, but, um, yeah, Stupid I think theory. it's kind of crazy, but there's also, they were pointing out, she has access to the kids, she knew that they had a bad home life, she mentioned, mentioned previously in the car with Hayes, which I didn't notice, was maybe the person who did it had good intentions, maybe Will's death was an accident. You know that she... I don't know. It was just like, it's just Stop. another theory. Because in the 90s, I mean, she's not off yeah. with... And what was that dinner... What was the point of that dinner scene when she says, I used to be crazy. I used to be a bit of a mess. Yeah. I don't know. I get it. I Look, I'll, I'll admit if I'm wrong, and which is rare. And she's the only one but... when she's a ghost that says to to Hayes, you're afraid of what, the, of what you left in the woods. Yeah. But that's not... I don't know. Her. I don't know. So they go up, uh, the daughter comes down, and um, I think it was a little cute. She's like, what do we not? And we don't say goodnight without I love you. And they say I love yeah. you. They go up. And then this is really oh, cool, I thought. Scene. You transition. They're walking up the stairs, and then all of a sudden, it's 2015 Hayes. He's an old man. And, and he's, all the lights are off. Yeah. He's like, where's my, where's my yeah, He's like panicking. looking, for, And then he opens the bedroom door, and they're all sitting there. Like he's, all he from the 90s himself. so he's like watching this 90s this scene from the 90s and then they even look back hey they're reading so they're reading the kids a story and then Hayes in the bed 90s Hayes looks into the door and he sees and the door open and questions it which is it was like the first weird besides him seeing his wife and the Vietnam yeah. soldiers it was another like 
crossing dimensions paranormal esque. Yeah, I thought it was cool because it was like you see. 2015 haze, 90s haze, and then they transition, like, 2015 haze, right? Looks out the window. No, no, no. Or 90s. 90s. In the bed, he looks out the window and sees his 80s self. 80s self. And then they transition, boom, back to the 80s. He's in the hospital giving his statement, right? Yeah. So this is right after the Woodard uh, incident. Yeah, after he shot Woodard, yeah. And uh, he's asking if Roland's okay. Um, yeah. Everything. And then Emilio comes in running, asking yeah. what happened. Mm-hmm. Hayes doesn't want to talk about no. it. But then he, he smells her, and this is another thing people brought up, which I think they're reaching, is, and she says, oh, it's just ivory soap. And they're like, ivory bones? Like, okay, relax, people. Um, she is a little bit weird, especially you see this scene, they go back to the house and they just like start undressing. Yeah, and they uh, they like have sex out of aggression. Yeah. She's get, she gets, obviously, like the whole thing excites her. She gets turned on by this whole yeah. Investigation. It seems like their relationship only thrives and um, is burdened by this case. Yeah. So the first night that they did it was the night of the Woodard incident when he murdered somebody. Mm-hmm. Then their relationship that was the first time they had sex. So kind of then the other time that we saw them have sex was after uh, a big fight. Yeah. So they're weird. It's a weird relationship. That's yeah. for sure. I'm still not saying Amelia. Uh, murdered somebody and kidnapped somebody. No, I, I think that's far fetched, but it's an idea I wanted to put out there. Yeah. Um. Then now it goes to the eighties. Um. Hayes is going through the crime his, scene, right? Yeah, he's going through his old box of like stuff from from the eighties. Um. And he notices that papers and specifically photos were missing from, um, the thing, and he asks an officer to to find them. And um, there are two pictures of Julie's burnt shirt and then a backpack. Will's backpack. Will's backpack. And uh, it flashes briefly to the 80s when they're canvassing canvassing Woodard's yard. Yeah, and they find the backpack. Yeah. And this is, I guess, where... You know who pulls the backpack out of the porch, from under the porch? Oh. Alan. Oh, that's Alan? Yeah. See, I didn't get that or notice it. When I was watching it back, I was like, oh, shit, that... Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it was only just like a brief showing the officers canvassing Woodard's yard and um, they find that shirt in Will's backpack and so and this is clearly the point where they convict I mean he's dead but you, yeah. they kind of say that it was Woodard Woodard did it and was guilty and that's why he uh, acted out yeah. um, now we're, we're so it was only a brief thing and then it goes back to the 90s and yeah. Hayes is looking through the pictures and he goes to Roland and says Julie's shirt and Will's backpack were planted. Yeah, and which like, makes sense because he said the backpack was just on skates completely. Yeah, it was completely. It's clean. like there's no way it was in the crawl space when the mortar went off. Yeah, which it couldn't have been because it would have been covered in dust. It would have maybe yeah. half disintegrated. Yeah. So now Roland's like, I don't know what to do because if they bring it to Clint, um, can't I can't just Clint, yeah. Kent, I write they down would be Clint. doing exactly yeah. what they were told not to do. <laughs> yeah. They'll be shut down. Which and it's the complete opposite because yeah. yeah, Kent just wants to just justify the conviction. Yeah. Um. So from there, then all of a sudden, uh, Roland gets a call, and it's just they, a tip. Or that, oh, it's a tip that they got a call on the hotline that yeah. they have to hear. That, yeah. So now this is awesome. It's a great scene. Yeah. It's uh, 2015, yeah. and we get to see Roland, old finally. man Roland. Yeah, finally. Mm-hmm. And um. He's like complete opposite of what you think, like because they dropped hints yeah. that he like hated animals in the eighties and whatnot, and now yeah, but now he's just the search dogs. They're like, get those things away from me. Yeah, but now he's like in a cabin in the woods by himself with like no less than dogs. yeah, ten to fifteen dogs, and these those are like his best friends clearly, mm-hmm. and he's just pours a glass of whiskey, and he then sees he sees and- yeah, he looks out the window and sees Hayes and Henry pull up. Yeah. Remember in the previous episode, he had asked, Hayes had asked his son Henry to find Roland for him. Yeah. So now at this point, they did, and uh, Henry drove Roland, or Henry drove his dad, Hayes, to yeah. Roland's house. Yeah. He, so yeah, Hayes, Hayes, like, has a little hesitation, but then uh, Roland comes out, and he's like, looking good, Purple. Who's that old man with you? And Hayes it's gets laughing. this such a funny laugh, because he's, like, all stressed out, and then he says that, and he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> Again, proving that West the, is the only, only time one that can make that him you laugh. see the only time that you see Hayes laugh in the show is after West says something funny. Yeah. So then all of a sudden he's just 
and calms down and he goes to see him. Uh, so then it's Henry and Wes talking and Wes asks him, does he remember why I'm pissed at him? Yeah. And, and he Henry's says, like, I don't, I, don't so. I don't think so. And then Wes kind of says, well, maybe I forgot too. Mm-hmm. So At this point, 25 years have 24, 25, yeah. have talked. Yeah. So they kind of reminisce for a little bit. Uh, and yeah, this one, like he asks him if he's married or whatever he wasn't. But he's like, when you don't talk to somebody for 24 years, you're going to miss some shit. So from this scene, we go back to the 90s. And we saw that um, Wes had got a phone call that they had to listen to this phone call that they got in at the tip line. They bring uh, Tom in to listen to Yeah, they bring to Tom it. Purcell in to listen to. And immediately, it's like very aggressive atmosphere. Yeah. They they just bring him in. They don't tell him anything. They're in the yet. Hayes and Wes are in the room with him. Yeah. And they're but they're in like an interrogation room, and you have all the cops like behind the mirror the watching. Yeah. So um, clearly, this they don't tell him anything. They just put the tape recorder down and press play, and you hear Julie, Julie, what who we think is Julie, and she says, "Tell him to leave me alone." The man on TV acting like my father. Yeah. What what he did to my brother? We left him resting. He took me, and I'm never coming back. Tell him to leave me alone. Yeah. So, it's now I'm I'm watching it. And I'm like, clearly she's been like brainwashed into believing yeah. that Tom was the one who took her. But and this is this, but like Hayes and Wes are like staring at him and not like, like immediately thinking because he's cry he's like crying at all this, and then they're not comforting him at all. Like they're no. starting. But to you notice he only turns him. to Wes and he's like, yeah. He's you like, gotta Roland. help me, man. Yeah. Like, you're like, you gotta help me. And Calls him by first name, Roland. Because they always, they, yeah, you know, they like, had that connection. Um, and she says, uh, the, the officer who's talking to her on the phone in the tape is like, is this Julie? And she's like, that's not my name. Julie's not my name. Yeah. She's, so now we're like, oh shit, maybe that kid is right. Her name's yeah. Mary July. Or she's or maybe been brainwashed she just, yeah. to think something She just else. keeps insisting that. We also don't know if this is Julie. It's just yeah. somebody playing a prank. Yeah. But everything she says is very specific. Yeah. Uh, so now you're kind of worried, like, what are they going to do with Tom? Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, I, I still I still what, believe... What was interesting was when she said, um, what did he do to my brother? We left him resting. Yeah. I was like, what? Yeah. So she didn't... Whoever killed Will led Julie to believe that they left him resting. Yeah. Which that was not the case. Dead, no. He was resting for the rest of his life. Oh, um, so yeah, they kind of stare him down, and now you go back to 2015. Yeah, and, and this is a is a big, it's a long, it's a big scene. Yeah, now they're like just sitting having a drink, but now Hayes is going in on the case and what he's been doing, mm-hmm. and he tells West that uh, Lucy wrote the letter, and then he goes. Um, now, who did he say came to see him? Hoyt. Well, first of all, it's like a weird, it's a weird dynamic with them because they haven't talked for so long. So yeah. immediately when Hayes starts talking about the case, he's like, "That's what you came here to yeah. talk about." Yeah. Well, West says, "Like West is like, what are you, what yeah. are you doing? What are you doing? That's yeah. what you came here. You haven't talked. We haven't talked for twenty five years, and this is what we're talking about. Yeah. Why didn't you call? Stop for a beer. I have no woman. I'm alone in the woods. Yeah, but they." When they do talk about the case, they keep saying, like, oh, they know what we've done, or you remember what we've done. Um, and he said, oh, oh, that's, he says, um, how are you going to talk to the interview people when we've done what we've done? Yeah, when we've done what we've done. And he, and he said. He doesn't remember. He said, if I remember what we did, then I'll remember not to say it. Yeah. Which is. Um, and now, Roland still wants Hayes to apologize. He still doesn't know what he wants, to, but like so they, he's like questions just drinking because he was pouring whiskey and West mm-hmm. like starts flipping out, asking for you know saying you still won't apologize to me and Hayes is like if you say upset. I did something I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. I'm yeah sorry. I can't remember my life I can't remember my wife yeah and he starts crying it's like a, it's an emotional yeah. scene and so you see West kind of sympathize and yeah um, back down yeah a and he kind of he calms down he accepts it. as soon as he said. You t- if you told me I did something, I'm sorry. Immediately, he's like, it's okay. Yeah, like, yeah. He, he was waiting for that for a long time, but like he realizes that he's, yeah. he's not being vindictive. He's, just, he's in a bad place. Mm-hmm. And, and so 
Wes says, listen, if you need help killing time, I'm your man. Um, but I will not dip my toes back into this case. Yeah. Um, and he, he says, you seem to forget that we're old men. What makes you think we could do anything besides piss our pants? <laughs> yeah. There's some great like lines yeah. back and forth here. Uh, but Hayes says, before I'm a drooling fucking squash plant, I'm going to finish this. Yeah. So Hayes is, is like determined he's to close this out. And you and can kind of see West is on board. He He's kind of on board, but he's still hesitant. So Hayes yeah. says, 70 year old black man running around with a badge and gun. You shouldn't miss that. And then West caves and says, I could use a laugh. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how they leave it off. Yeah. So now we know they're teaming up again. again. Yeah, to they go this. for it, which is awesome. Yep. Uh, that was one of my favorite scenes it of was the so good. of the show so far. Men. Yeah, and I just want to I just want to give props to the makeup artists because, I mean, we've seen Mahershala Ali's older makeup throughout yeah. the whole series. He just looks like an old man. It looks so good. Yeah. And it's funny where I was watching Uncle Drew, and <laughs> where they have Kyrie Irving, all the basketball players, and the old makeup, and it looks so terrible. And then to see what they do on True Detective with Hayes and West, like they just they look like old men. Yeah. I was saying, like, if I didn't know these actors and I just yeah. came in and saw this scene or whatever, I would think they were two older actors. Just two actors. old actors, yeah. 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 So, that this was my favorite episode so mm -hmm. far. Oh, um, you, I didn't answer your question before. When they were talking about when we did what we did, he, they were talking about we did what we did, and then um, Hayes says, you know, he came to see me that next day. And Wes yeah. is like, What? Hoyt, who owns Hoyt Farms. Was it that it was definitely Hoyt? Yeah. I looked that back up. Okay. Um, uh, came to see him the next day. Um, and we know that the mom, Lucy Purcell, worked at Hoyt Farms. Yeah. Um, so I don't know what that means. We hadn't then, seen we haven't seen Hoyt yet. We, yeah, we don't know. We only saw that one like supervisor who said that he was off I mean, somewhere in vacation. Africa, or, or yeah, yeah. It was weird. Yeah. Um so now you're like, clearly that alludes to whatever they did do. Now, one of the but, things that... Oh, go ahead. Sorry, but Hayes says that one thing... Or Wes is like, you didn't tell me that. Did you get anything from it? And uh, Hayes says, nothing. I don't think. But he knows what we did. Yeah. So, one of the, well, what, one of the things that Hayes does say is that um, he does tell Wes that uh, Uncle Dan is dead. Mm -hmm. And Wes kind of seems to know that already, right? Or Yeah. Well, I... And this is where I, I did read into something, uh, but I, I really liked it, so I'll go into it. But it seems like I'm get, And I, I think it, it happened. They confronted Uncle Dan in the 90s, and they might have gotten very emotional and taken something too far, and they're the ones who killed him. And they mm -hmm. buried him in Hoyt Farms. I guess, or Possibly. wherever they found the remains, that's where, uh, that's where they buried him and they covered it up. So I think that's kind of what I they think did. That's the thing they did. Yeah. Um, he does say when he's talking to Eliza when she originally uh, shows him that he he's dead. The that's like, the only information she shows him, which yeah. also makes you believe, like maybe Eliza knows that he did this. If that yeah. if that is true, I don't know I don't because know she was hesitant not to give him any information, and the only thing she did show him yeah. was that they found Uncle Dan yeah. O'Brien's remains, and he doesn't remember whatever they did. No, but um, so I think that's common. I I really think. Oh, you know, well, what I was trying to say is he does say like talking about I haven't gone into the '90s with you, but that was more harm than good. Yeah. So you know something big is coming up there that just caused all this shit to happen and. Yeah, it's almost like uh, Wes regrets reopening that case in the '90s at all. Yeah, yeah. So, but I, I can see that. I, I still think. Well, there's obviously more to it, but I still think that like that Uncle Dan had taken her. They it was at Julie was her at the request of Lucy. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Um, I don't know if she was in on killing Will, but I don't know. But I do, I do like that that one theory, and I, I could see a great scene of them like this. This Uncle Dan, he's not innocent in any way. He's a creep, no. and he did something. Because he had those going back to when he was staying with them at the Playboys. They had the peephole yeah. in the room, like. And we don't know much about him. There's just a lot of brief mentions, and yeah. you're like, well, what does that mean? Yeah, now? but he's mentioned a lot. And yeah. So 
I think something's happening there. I'm interested to see what they do with Tom. I'm hoping that they didn't convict him of anything. Yeah, he seems pretty... Um, he didn't do anything. I don't think he did I'm anything. adamant that he did. Um, but the fact that now he's got to kind of explain himself because of this phone call... I'm sure he doesn't even know. Yeah. You just feel bad for the guy. Yeah, he's a, a mess. Yeah. So now we got, what, three episodes left? Three! Three. This Close to nine, great. right? Yeah. yeah so uh, eight or nine. Six, seven, I think three, six, seven, eight. Oh, eight. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're all caught up now. We can't, we're not catching up anymore, which is good. Yeah. We got uh, episode six coming out, and it's going to get good. And I think now, I wonder really if the 80s stuff is. There was kind a of done. lot of information in this episode, yeah. so I feel like there's going to be a lot of action comes yeah. come episode six. Yeah. Hopefully, a lot of answers because this opened up a lot of a lot of crap. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just ready to see the two old men back in action, <laughs> taking their badges around, oh investigating. It's going to be great, and seeing them kind of reconcile. Yeah. After 25 years, like crazy. Yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Our episode six recap, uh, episode five. I'm getting ahead of myself now, but we'll uh, we'll be with you on episode six very soon after we all watch together on yeah. Sunday. Maybe we'll do some like. Will we be able to live watch? Possibly, depends on work stuff. That's true. We'll see. Well, maybe we'll, we'll put it on our uh, our social media if we are live watching, and then we yes. can live tweet with you guys, or I'll yeah. Snapchat. All of our fans. Be All of our along fans. With us. But if you want to yeah. watch along with us. But we have been getting some feedback on it and we appreciate it. Yeah. We thank everybody for watching and hope you're still watching along with us. And please share some of your theories that you have now that we're getting into the nitty gritty here. And please continue to give us feedback on us. And thanks for watching and we'll Don't see talk you soon. About us. <laughs> <I'm just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. See you guys later. Bye.